guys. So this video right here is going to be the El Paso challenge because like in light of recent things that have kind of happened, I decided that I didn't really like want to post a vlog and then like I got kind of busy because I was like trying to put this together but then it like takes a little bit more effort than doing a vlog and obviously like I don't do this that much. So I decided that I wanted to do the El Paso challenge. So this was started by an 11 year old boy from El Paso and he decided that he wanted to challenge people from all over to do 22 acts of kindness in honor of the 22 lives that were lost during the shooting that happened here recently. So I decided that would be like a good thing to do like after it happened because it's just nice to be nice to people. So I decided that I wanted to put that together and instead of like posting a vlog next but then I kind of got like a little bit behind track because like I had to coordinate things a little bit more and so then it just took longer and I also had to like film me like going and doing the things but I just wanted to kind of do it because I don't know I love living in El Paso I feel like it's a really safe city it's somewhere like you wouldn't expect anything like this to happen so because the whole city came together we have a memorial outside of the Walmart where people from all over even a man from Colorado He drove over here and brought us crosses for each of the victims and people have been going and leaving flowers They've been drawing artwork and leaving them bringing banners bringing candles rosaries Bibles things like that to the memorial just to honor those 22 lives and it started out like in the corner of the Walmart And now it stretches all the way down the entire side of the Walmart parking lot Where they have the fence set up outside blocking the Walmart off because it is closed right now for my El Paso challenge, I decided I wanted to do things that would affect people because obviously the concept of it is that you do things that affect 22 people, but I wanted to do kind of more like different things that would affect more than 22 people in their daily lives, but not necessarily 22 different things. Another thing I like to do to spread positivity is to comment on people's Instagram pictures because I don't know, it just always feels good like when someone comments on your picture and you're like, oh, like, they thought it was a good picture too, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I really like when people comment on my picture, so I like commenting on other people's pictures, you know, especially like... I don't know, just to be nice if it's a nice picture, you know? Because it always makes people feel good. Something else that's really nice to do is like just promote local artists. Here in El Paso, we have a lot of local artists or creators. So I've recently been doing like photo shoots with different people. One of the photographers that I've most recently like worked with, her name's Erica. So I'm gonna put her social media links down below. She has a YouTube and also an Instagram where she posts her things. And she's just very talented. But she does shoots for only $60 and I mean, she's super kind, she'll help you pose, she edits almost all of the pictures, which is pretty rare when you go and do photo shoots, especially for only $60, so you're definitely getting your money's worth, and she's just super friendly and, like, really talented. So I really liked all the pictures she did for me, so if you live in El Paso and you're interested in a photo shoot, she does senior pictures, she does just portraits, she does, like, editorial style shoots where it's, like, in a studio, just different things like that. She's very talented. And then also just like in El Paso, we have a lot of like creators, like also the music that I use in these videos, that was by Grant Fleming. He's a local artist. I mean, I went to school with him. So like his music's really good. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, it's also on SoundCloud, so you can download it and listen to him. He has a whole album out. I really like it. I downloaded it like right when he, like when he came out with it, he like had posted about it on his Instagram. I had already had it downloaded. So when I started making these videos, I was like, <gasps> like I can ask him to use his video or his music in my videos, you know, because that would make it like cooler. Yeah, I don't know. There's just lots of local artists, and like if your friends have small businesses, you know, it's always just nice when you like 
or they make YouTube videos, you know? It's always just nice when, like, someone reposts you and, like, kind of helps you, like, promote because it doesn't cost any money to, like, post something on your Instagram story or your Snapchat story or, like, retweet something on Twitter, but it really does help out those people who are, like, creators or artists because it helps them get seen by different people that they wouldn't normally get seen by, and it's just, like, nice to know that people support you. So, I mean, definitely go check those two people out. Their links will be in the descriptions. Grants are always in the description since I use this video his music in all of my videos and then Erica's will be in there and then she's also like on my Instagram if you go to my Instagram at M-E-L-M-G-G-M she's tagged in the pictures that she took so I mean the ones that look extra good those are the ones that she took you can go check out her photography account she also has a personal account too something that I did was I wrote an appreciation note to people so I wrote one to one of my good friends who I don't like necessarily hang out with all the time but I know like we'll always be there for each other because she's one of my really close friends so I just wrote like an appreciation note to her a group from El Paso that is actually founded by a girl that I kind of know I went to school with her brother they were selling stickers and donating proceeds to the victims so I ended up buying one of those stickers they're really cute just says chicas from Chuco or chicas de Chugo because that's like the name of their club you can do is pray for other people it's seeking out to the highest divinity that you respect the most so I just think it's really meaningful when others pray for each other like whenever people tell me that they pray for me like I always really appreciate that so after the incident Notre Dame actually emailed me I had the Notre Dame Club of El Paso and the Notre Dame Alumni Association they all reached out and then they told us that we were in their prayers and they provided a link for grotto prayer requests so I put in a prayer request for the healing of the families that were affected and just for El Paso kind of as a whole another thing you can do is just kind of promote positivity like in your daily life so a way that I like to do this is I just like one night decided that I wanted to create a remind where I was gonna send out like aesthetic picture quotes that I found on Pinterest that were inspirational so you can text and I'll put the words on the screen and you can text that and enter in the chat and then you'll just get like daily texts or every couple days you'll get a text like of a quote that's supposed to be inspirational and they also make really cute Apple Watch like lock screens. So the 11 year old's name was actually Ruben and so I mean it's just really good like what he challenged other people to do a lot of people in El Paso have been partaking in it they've been doing different signs just like saying El Paso strong or different I know there's like actresses from here who like obviously live other places because they're working and they came back to participate in the El Paso challenge locally just help people out by giving out like gift cards at the bus station or paying for someone's Starbucks like when you're in the line ahead of them or paying for someone's gas and they've also been doing it just in different places where they live so it's something that you can do like not only if you live in El Paso but just other places just to, like spread the positivity spread the love and also what's important is to just remember like acts of kindness don't always have to be paid for most of the things I did in this video like some of them I had to buy supplies for like the tissue boxes or like the roses things like that like I paid for but the other acts of kindness like aside from buying like chalk or like markers or stuff like that like they didn't really cost me anything it was just something that I could do to like be nice for other people so it's always important to remember like kindness comes from the heart it doesn't come from your wallet so yeah that's just a note I kind of want to leave off on like if you want to do the El Paso challenge you can and I don't know I mean I just really love El Paso so I'm always glad to like support it's a good community